Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and today's video is going to be a little bit different. So in my first video, well in my first tips and tricks video, I used a Siamese cat morph and since then a lot of, well not a lot, a couple of people have asked me to make a video showing how to make a Siamese morph. So there are from what I've done, well from the little research I've done, <laughs> there are nine different types of Siamese cats, there's probably more, but I've managed to find nine. And these are a traditional apple head, an old style, a classic, a modern wedge, a seal point, a chocolate point, a blue point, a lilac point, and a lynx point. So, sorry, um, so um, one thing you might want to keep in mind if you want to create a modern wedge and if you have the game pass you might be better going with the long muzzle. Kind of just gives it more of that big eared effect and the arched nose. Now when we get the update where the morphs change you should be able to create that without going with a big head because personally on a short hair cat and same me as aren't to be short hair cats unless it's like a cross um i think it looks really goofy on short hair morphs so i'm just going to be using a normal muzzle and for the purposes of this video i will be creating a lilac point same ears and I'll be using this reference photo. So, when I'm creating a morph, I like to start with the fur. Now, Siamese don't really have much fur around their head, but I personally like to add it anyways. And my favourite one to use is the outwards. So I can do that. And now, for short hair cats, I usually do the same fur. I do belly fur, neck fur, and back leg fur. And that, this might be a bit too fluffy for you. But it's your morph, so you can do however much fluff you want. Now for the tail, I always, want well always. Oh, sorry. Since when have we had this? Since when have we had that? I don't know, but I love it. <laughs> Back on track. Anyway, so um, I always use a slim plump tail. And that's kind of it for the fur, I say. Now we're going to go on to the head. Well, actually, look at my eyes first. I... Oh, I've got loads of eye types as well. <laughs> I love that. I would have already had that. Wow. Um, I didn't know that was a thing. I'm kind of tempted to go with the grumpy eyes because it's funny. But I'm just going to go basic lashes. Go with... I don't want to use the under eye. Okay, let's go with that. Kind of gives it more of that shape. Kind of matches the thingy picture, but not really. <laughs> oh well, now we can go on to the head. Um, so, is it the point map? No. Oh, no. Oh, it's the cat map. No. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm terrible with these masks. There we go, face mask. Of course, kind of just gets the areas of grey on the face. I always add the... We've had so much added, I'm sorry, I haven't looked at the new update yet. But um, I always add... No, not them. Whisker pads, that's what they are. Just makes them all look a bit nicer in my opinion. Now what's this? I love that, that's so cute. 
but unfortunately Siamese have dark noses from what I found so I'm not going to be using that well my reference doesn't have that anyway um Head spots. Okay, I am obsessed with this update. This isn't what the video is about, so continuing on. Is that all we need to do? I think it is. I might add the tear marks just because my. Sorry, that's my cat. Um, I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Um. Where was I? I think I was looking. Oh, I spot. Um, what am I looking for? I'm looking for. I thought that went there and not there, so I'm not going to use that anymore. Am I do under eye markings, or do I? No, I'm not going actually. Actually, um, so yeah. I think that's us done with the outlining of the face. Now we're going to go on to the colouring. I'm going to get my paintbrush because I prefer using the paintbrush. And now I never actually go pure white, especially if it's like a warrior morph or like not a key pet. Which gives it more of like a dirty, not like, well yeah like a dirty. I didn't realise I was on Norwich Warrior. It's a normal warrior. And from all the cats I've seen, Siamese tend to have a more of a warmer undertone to their coat rather than a harsh white. So I feel like using this more creamy colour would be nicer. And yeah. Make sure I get all of it covered. Looking good. There. Okay, so now I've got all that done, I'm going to move on to the skin. I like to use. Yeah, either this one or this one. I think I'm going to use that one. Do it for the pores too. On the inside, they use more of a that colour, maybe a bit lighter. I think I'm going to use that. And now I'm going to find a. Oh. Change the width of that. Now I'm going to find a grey. It's going to be quite a light grey because I'm doing a light at the point. I don't like how you can't go here to do that or it dies at that head. So, I'm liking, oh, I've done it again, I'm liking that colour, I'm going to bring it onto the ears as well, and the pores, now on the image it only goes to pop there. My little sister's shouting. Um, and then again on here, it only goes to about there. And then we've got the tail, which basically just goes to there. Okay, so now we've got our base colours down. We can make it a little bit darker. Um, a bit darker than that, so you can actually see a difference. And with the darker colour, you kind of just. I will actually add those tear things. So, yeah, with the darker colour, you kind of want to focus it more. 
in the center of the face. Still might be a bit too light. That's a bit better. I'm not gonna dye that black until I'm finished because I keep accidentally getting it. It's kind of annoying. Could do that. Yeah, I think I'm alright. Don't add too much. Well, otherwise it'll look a bit overwhelming. Just some. I feel like that looks a bit too dark compared to that. Okay, I like that better. I'm gonna get this. I feel like, yeah, I'm gonna put the dark color a bit. Okay, we can do. Can we do. No, I thought that was a different color, but it's not. Then, I'm gonna get. It's not what I wanted. This color. I did the wrong thing. I'm gonna put them on pause. This colour and put it there. And then the dark colour. This is gonna be for the toes. You basically just wanna do that on all four pole. Obviously it'll be different depending on the reference you're using. If you are using a reference. Um then we can do this on the tail as well. Now, on the reference I'm using, there's a stripes on the tail. Um, I actually might incorporate them. And then use this. And that. The stripes are a bit more faint, but they're still there. Okay. And now you've got your basic Siamese. ears. I'm just going to do the eyes. The eyes on mine are quite of a deep blue. Oh, I forgot to do. I'm always forgetting to do them. I always do them a bit darker and the fur around them so it can stand out a little bit more. Yeah, so um you got the eyes now. Deep blue. And this is a space Siamese more uh, for Lynx Point. I will then put like a colour on or something. I think that'll look cute. Do a bow. I do like the bows. And since it's a lilac point, we could go lilac with the colour. <laughs> there we go. Um, so that is basically how you can do a Siamese morph. Um, Thank you for watching and goodbye.